Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we move clips on the main storyline without affecting those connected storylines. Now, it might be that you want to make space to put some other clips down there, but you're not sure what's going to go there, or for whatever reason, you want to move all those clips on the main storyline. So, I'm going to first of all select all these clips. So I'm going to click on my first clip and then hold down Shift and click on my last clip. And if you do Shift and Z, to get the timeline to fit, you'll be able to see your entire timeline really easily. Um, another way of selecting all of those clips on the main storyline is to come to the end of your edit and just click and hold and drag along them all. So we have everything selected here. So now if I try and move this, it's going to move everything on my connected clips as well. And what I want to do is actually change to the position tool here for this move. And now when I move it, it's actually not going to snap back to the beginning, but it's still moving those connected clips. So I'm going to hold down the tilde key on my keyboard, which is just below the escape key, and I'm going to drag to the right. And you can see now holding down that tilde key, it's going to allow me to move those clips on the main storyline. It's going to leave a gap clip in place, but now basically I've left everything else in place. So I can move things around really fluidly on whichever layer they're on in Final Cut Pro 10 even though it's on the main storyline. And then I can bring other clips down, particularly using the position tool, and I can drop them into place there. So you can see when I use the position tool and drop down onto the main storyline there, it doesn't move those connected clips. The, the magnetic timeline is kind of turned off temporarily there when we're bringing clips down to the main timeline. So hopefully that's useful if you're wanting to move clips around in your main storyline without affecting those connected clips. This question came from a question I had on one of my YouTube videos. So if you do have questions, then please do leave them in the comments below. I hope this is useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.